when you look at the social injustices that were being done at that time where there was a there was a trend in the time in the in in the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where having a girl or having a daughter was something that was a taboo it was looked down upon because if you didn't have sons number one who was who was going to carry on your lineage who was going to carry on your clan and make your clan and your tribe bigger and who was going to carry your name the second aspect was was that women were looked at in a very negative manner in that time and even if you look even up until uh not not islamically but if you look at from the western side of things women's right weren't given all the way up until the 40s and the 50s some even in the 70s where they were not given rights in terms of land ownership in terms of inheritance all of these things in the western world still did not exist until just recently 70 80 years ago but in the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he recognized and because he was a messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because he was that he knew the divine decree that was being given about rights to be given to the women about the rights of inheritance for the women about the rights of ownership of land for the women about the rights that women had inside of marriages and the 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 blessings that a female brought into the homes you know there's a saying where they say bintul baraka waladur rahma that the girls were a source of baraka a source of a sustenance and in a a blessing inside of their homes whether it was wealth wise whether it was an increasing of wealth whether it was an increasing of happiness they were a source of baraka inside of the homes the the sons were a source of mercy as well because they would then go and help out in 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 other aspects but it didn't mean that the women were precluded so with that aspect rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and through islam we learn that women had rights and then the establishment of the rights rights on the workers you know there's a famous hadith where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that you should not withhold the salary or the payment to your worker you should give it before even the worker's sweat dries subhanallah even before the worker's sweat dries for the work that they've done you should go ahead and give them the due that they deserve right subhanallah how merciful is that because the person who's working and the person who's going through the difficulties subhanallah especially someone that's working and they're working on a low wage they're doing that job or the difficult job one reason is because they need that work in order for them to survive so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he's doing that he is actually explaining and he's showing that look these are the rights that we have to give and that was the beautiful character that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had look at this now subhanallah even those that used to work for the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to smile even when someone made a mistake rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to smile he used to be very very merciful even when someone made a mistake whether it was in religion or whether they violated a trust 